The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the October 7th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out or try to figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. Go ahead, send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, if you would be kind enough to put radio show question, and in our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, I've got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. Dow's up 490, S&P 58, NASDAQ 215, Russell's up 46. That's 2%. Semis are up over 2% as well. They're up 66 points. Tranny's up just slightly, 27 points to the upside. You've got that spot volatility hovering right around a very critical level. 1946, I believe, is the number. You've got to trade at 1939. If price does close under 1946, that would suggest that the rally that we see continues on. We'll take a Look, as many charts as we can. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, do, oh, by the way, leading the charge dollar wise, the upside, you got Amazon of 55. Google 49, Shopify 39, Restoration Hardware 23, Boston Beer up 25 bucks. To so the downside, nothing gigantic. Turning Point Therapeutics is off 10 bucks at 17%. I guess it's gigantic for them. Prelude Therapeutics, well, it's gigantic too. Nine, almost 10 bucks, down 33%. So I take that back. Joint Corp is down 9% or 8 bucks. Oric Pharmaceuticals is down 5. Pinnacle West Capital Group is off 5 as well. So let's begin the day. Where do we want to begin the day? Let's begin the day really kind of like what we did yesterday. Let's just look at the short-term time frame chart. So give me a moment to get those queued up here. My short-term time frame, I'm really referring to the 30-minute chart. So let's uh, change screens here as Stevie tries to navigate. And we should see our 30-minute time frame chart for the ES. Upper left, upper right is going to be the NQ. Lower left is going to be the Dow. And the up, uh, lower right is going to be the Russell 2000. So as, as we look for patterns out here look for top or bottoming patterns let me just update this chart make sure the russell 2000 there we go that's updated i'm just gonna make sure everything is properly updated here so yeah it looks like it is okay perfect so as we take a look at this the only actual signal we have on a 30 minute basis is coming from the nq right now and that just uh, generated a uh, a rose momentum indicator top, but price is going to need to close below 14,929 to suggest anything because that would just be a pullback to support. And then the real level of support, its breakout level of support, is down at 14,790. So that's an area to watch. There's no reason to look at 14,790 just yet because price is still really it's right above the top of its uh, no, it's it's in between its profiles out there. And so it's really the 14,929 level to be watching. So from a 30 minute basis, only the Russell uh, that we'll take a look at. And and uh, so what we'll do, we've got a caller on the line. We'll go to our caller because we have call ahead seating here. And then we will go over and uh, probably take a look at each of our eight panel charts for the ESNQ so we can see what's going on for all the time frames. But in the meantime, let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? I'm doing great, Steve. How are you today? Very, very good. Thanks for asking. And uh, you want to take a look at CGC. I believe, and uh, CGC is that the uh, what is that uh, canopy growth? Yeah, canopy growth. It is one Perfect. of the one of the pot stocks. 
Yep, yep. Okay, perfect. So I've got it up on the screen. Uh, tell me what you're doing and how I can best help you. Oh, uh -oh. you still there? Steve? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I just lost my uh, my little headset on that thing. Uh, hey, no I problem. No that. problem. It's kind of kind of took a poop on me there. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. All, all is good. All is good. So you got uh, Canopy Growth trading at thirteen sixty eight below daily, weekly, and monthly profiles out there. Have you spotted some type of bottom? I bought in this morning. Just, I mean, I know there's nothing really necessarily specific. I think it is in bar eight on the TD count. I've just been watching these for a while, just for a bounce, really more than anything. So, okay, um, all right. So, so Brent, if it's just for a bounce, then where the bounce should run out of steam would be at about 1508. So the bottom of its and, and the reason that we say that is that when you when price closes below the bottom of a bullish structured profile, and here on the daily you can see it's a bullish structured profile. The top line is where sellers are, the bottom line is where buyers are, and that center is where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value. So we've got more buyers lined up between 1479 and 1508 versus sellers, and that's why we call that a bullish structured profile. Now counter trend rallies typically will make its way up to the center of that box, just as it did in canopy growth on the trading session of uh, September. September 28th. Now it only got up to a high of 1498 and 1508 is that is that level. So 1479 is probably the counter trend move. If you were going to put a advanced sell order in, I'd probably use that 1479 area. So before we switch over to the white charts, any questions about uh, our black background charts and their profiles? No, that's great. Thanks, Steve. Okay, perfect. So let's pull over CGC. We'll take a quick peek at the daily, weekly, and a 30-minute time frame out here. And so on a daily basis, about two trading sessions ago, Brent, this generated the bottom signal. That was the Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottoming pattern out there. So that then says that now you've got the valid bottom prices above its oscillator and change line. And so it does look like 1479 to 1508 becomes a target. Now, price could close above 1508, and then it says you're moving up to the 1621 or 1734 level. That's the daily time frame chart. Let's see if there's any kind of bottoming signal on the weekly. And the answer is there's not other than price coming back to a breakout level. And that can be an area where a stock would bottom. That was at 1295. There's two real breakout levels on a weekly chart, 1410 and 1295. The actual low this week is 1286. So that's perfect. You've got a test and rejection of that area. And just curious, on a 30-minute chart, what do we have out here? So as price was bottoming a couple days ago on the daily chart, so too was it on the 30-minute time frame chart. I don't really have uh, – it appears right now, Brent, I don't have any kind of a uh, topping pattern or anything out here for a 30-minute chart. Uh, and it looks like price is probably headed to 11.34. I'm sorry, 14.34. Uh, but there, we might see a pullback. We should see a pullback, really, to about the 13.57, about 10 cents lower. And if price can bounce off of that line, that would be the bullish test you're looking for on a 30-minute basis. So on the daily, you've, I, I can see the pattern. You've got the confirmed bottom. So uh, I like that move this morning. Congrats on, on that. A anything else on these charts uh, that you've got questions about or anything that I can help you with? No, I think that's it. I was going to ask you, and I can even listen offline, but... Sure. Um, just if you could go over the whole seasonality aspect, I know that there's some things you're looking at. I kind of got the hint of that when you know at the top of the hour break and or yes. at the update there that that uh, there's some things to be watching, like the VIX and other things like that. It just seems yep. like when you're laying out the scenario of certain things that could happen, that oh, so I got a hey, break coming up. So we do, we do. Just stay, stay on. We'll come back to you for a quick few minutes. See you both. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education 
educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. I believe we still have Brent uh, on the line. And uh, Brent, sorry about that. Uh, certainly didn't want to uh, cut off our conversation like that. Just a, uh, a hard drop as we we're going into that break. But I, I think, in essence, you're, you're asking me to take a look at the seasonal cycle and try to make a bull case and a bear case. Yeah, I mean, if I'm understanding things the way I've seen the, the way you're trying to present it, and I want yes. to put words in your mouth, but it seemed like that the way we did come down you know, through September and October, that would be the more bullish scenario for the setup to potentially then go up, you know, into the end of the year. If, and if that's yes. the way I kind of understood it to be. But, you know, you can correct me on that if I'm not right. Yeah, that 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 should be what what the outcome is. And so uh, so I'll go through those details. I'll lay that out for everybody. You're welcome to either stay on the line or, or listen in, whichever is preferable to you. So you, you yeah, just I'll be on the line. OK, perfect. OK, thank you. So and if you've got the question, so does so does pretty much everybody else out there. And so uh, we will first begin with the seasonal cycle. So, folks, this is an 86 year seasonal cycle of the Dow. Don't pay as much attention to the dates that I've got out there, uh, just really for a uh, general reference category. And so what we know is on average that the Dow typically forms a bottom around the middle of October. Sometimes it's right on the date, but most times it's not. So that's the first thing. So what we like to do is uh, how do we determine whether or not that seasonal bottom has come in? Well, one way that we can do that is to look for patterns. And so if we take a look at patterns, I'm gonna put up this chart here. This is our daily equity futures chart for the ES Mini, the NQ, the Dow, and the Russell 2000. So just for the sake of time right now, uh, what I wanna share with you is we were, the, the the ES and the ES YM and Russell 2000 already had their bottoms in place. They're identified with those key levels of support. Those were um, uh, Gartley buy patterns. And so what we were waiting for as a confirmation that the bottom would be in is some type of bottom signal from the Russell. Well, yesterday was a bullish hammer candle. So it also now has a buy the D point or a Gartley buy pattern. So the seasonal cycle basically should have begun to kick in yesterday. Now, what other elements do we need to take a look at? Well, first would be the market profiles, and that's why I've got this chart up on our screen. There are new profiles that formed yesterday. Those are the blue dashed lines. Right now, you can see the ES Mini is well above the top of its profile, 4387. I've drawn in 
small consolidation patterns, because I'm trying to answer this question myself here, is, is this in fact the bottom, or do we just have some large consolidation patterns out here? Now, we've always had this one for the Russell 2000 on the right, and so the question I'm posing to myself, really, uh, which is why I drew these in there, and now I guess I throw that out to you, is the market just trading within these consolidation patterns, these rectangles out here? And I would say if price closes above that, uh, then the answer is no, that wasn't the case. In fact, price is then going to go ahead and continue to run higher, and we've got that seasonal cycle bottom. So that's one element to consider. Another thing to really take a look at with regard to the ES Mini, I said, yes, the ES Mini is trading well above the top of its profile, and you'll see that here on this chart as well. The problem is, where does that spot volatility index trade or close today? And I don't know the answer to that question. I do know that if price is below the 50-day exponential moving average, which is 1946, and the ES Mini is above the top of its profile, 4387, at a minimum, that suggests making that run to the top of its potential consolidation, and that's at about the 4472 level. But other than the consolidation, if I hadn't drawn that in here, Brent, uh, we would I would say you've gotten the absolute bottoming signal with the last piece of that puzzle being the spot volatility index. So any questions about that so far? I guess my other question, I think we've talked about this before, if we were to have um, it be more than a 10% change in the VIX and have that be below the 50-day, which is more important to you, being below the 50-day, I think is the right answer. 50, it is. That, that, that's, the, that's the more yeah. important thing as far as I'm concerned. And folks, the reason why I answer it that way is all you have to do is just take a look at this chart here. You can go and do this work yourself. Uh, you will see that the, and these boxes here represent uh, periods where the spot volatility is either above or below the 50-day exponential moving average. Green is where it's below. Yellow is where it is above. And so, uh, and I don't have the current uh, pattern here drawn in, but it really, you know, it really works as an additional confirmation tool. You know, you like to have those one-day rates of change below 10% that give you an initiation signal. But if you're asking me which is the which of the two is more important, it is where price closes in relationship to that 50-day exponential moving average. And, I mean, I'd be guessing right now if I said it's definitely going to close below it. I, I don't know that to be a fact at all. In fact, that's why we really need to go kind of take a look at the short term or the uh, just all the charts, our eight panel charts for the ES as an example, to get a pretty decent feel. Now, there was one other thing I think that you mentioned. So in addition to... Uh, the seasonal bottom taking place typically in October. Sometimes it's late September. And in fact, I do believe we had late September for the ES, for the YM, and for the Russell 2000. But let's the other thing to really take a look at and consider is what are the markets doing right now? I mentioned those small consolidations, but what we really have out here, as best I can tell, is we have large consolidations. So right now, it's almost more like 2015. Uh, than it is like anything else. And so the question is, does the being in the favorable seasonal cycle, is it going to be able to bust out of this consolidation? Now, if it does, the nice thing would be we would have a measured move equal to or greater than. So that's another thing to consider. But the other element, and it's easier to see on this chart here, I believe, this is the chart that we can take a look at all four equity future contracts on a weekly time frame and make a determination whether or not there's been a change in trend. So we'll take a look at the ES Mini, since that's more related, that is related really to the spot volatility index out here. And what we'll see as we open this chart out here is that what we're really looking for is changes in trend will occur when price closes below, and certainly for two consecutive sessions, but at least one below the bottom of those weekly profiles. Otherwise, in the ES Mini, the bottom of the weekly profiles have been the buy the blank and dip area. And that's what we've seen for really the past three weeks inside the ES Mini. So no change in trend here. The only place where we might have had a change in trend would have been the NQ. And as we opened up the NQ chart out here, we pull this back, we'll see that price closed just slightly below the bottom last week. Last week's close was 14761 and the bottom of that was 14802 Well, remember the two-bar rule that Stevie likes to have out here. We're seeing price regain that level. And if tomorrow price closed above 14802 there is no change in trend and price came back and tested those key levels of support where the buy the dips have occurred and now we've got the daily confirmation so brent help me interpret what i just said what did you hear that i just said that sounds uh, basically what i you know when you've talked about this that's what would make sense to me and we'll yeah. have things to watch i mean it's all going to play out you know in the coming days and We'll just watch all those different things. I'm assuming we want to see if we happen to get that close below the 50-day on the, you know, 
on the decks you want to see a second day and a third day and a it's a continuation of that i'm assuming well you know yes you'd like to uh i think we would be so there's i, I would say there's there's really one more level that price needs to overcome that would then suggest that we're getting back to the top of the profiles. Now look, if you're if you're trying to figure out where would that best trade be, you'd almost have to say it might be in the NQ right now with regard to the price difference between where it's trading right now and the top of its uh, profile out there. But um, yeah, would we like to have two days? Sure. But in essence, that's what we're looking at. I, to go back, I think right now we're dealing with these smaller consolidation patterns. You know, in the ES, you're about 44.74, about 15.340 in the NQ, about 34.906 in the Dow. And hey, Brent, I'm gonna, we're going to get cut off here by heartbreak as well. So I hope that answered your questions. And always good to Thank speak. Thank you so much, Steve. I, I really you, appreciate you it. Have yourself a wonderful day. You too. We'll be right back, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So my uh, just a, uh, the, my last thought uh, with regard to the conversation we were just having with uh, Brent out there is that with uh, so many geopolitical things going on across the uh, world, not just here in the U.S., that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to believe that more likely than not, we're in this consolidation period. Um, and not until the top of that gets, uh, so that's likely where price is headed to. Um, so, you know, are we going to go make new highs? Maybe we are. Maybe just uh, slightly by punching through the top of the consolidation, uh, but uh, you know we don't really. I don't. I, I try to. I try not to factor in those geopolitical events when we're just 
the hour with you because we're really looking at technicals and just because I can't go back on my charts and take a look at other patterns that were in play and remember exactly what was going on geopolitically, you know? So does it influence? Of course it does out there. But the bigger geopolitical influence is where's the global capital flowing to? And, and really right now, as we take a look at it, it's still here in the USA. You've got the Dow rate of change in US dollars. You can see it also priced in euros, yen, and pounds out there. And euros, for example, or yen, you're up 25% for the year. In US dollars, you're up 15% for the year. But we're starting to pull ahead starting to pull ahead. You can compare how the U.S. is performing to the Nikkei, which is basically flat on the year. The Hang Seng is down 10 percent. Australia is up about 10 percent. OK, so that's another positive. And Australia kind of keeping neck and neck with the DAX out there. My, and the FTSE is up about, uh, about the same. I would prefer to see a real breakaway inside the U.S. to really suggest to us that capital has uh, flown here. And since we don't have that, it's not that we're not the leader out here, but it's not like it's an overwhelming uh, percentage like we would expect to see or we will see if uh, global capital really decides to park its uh, took us right here in the uh, U.S. So this chart here says, well, OK, maybe that consolidation is more likely the pattern that we're in out there. And that still says plenty of intraday opportunities. So let's do this. We've got a few questions that have come in and want to make sure we get to those. The first one's coming in from Larry. And this is from yesterday, actually, was able to uh, uh, hey, Larry, next time, if you could put radio show questions. So I overlooked it yesterday, and my apology for that, but I did catch it uh, earlier this morning. And what Larry wants to take a look at is ARKG, which is the ETF, the genomic, the genomic revolution ETF out here. And what we can see is, your question is, is this a buying opportunity? And that was yesterday out there. So uh, first, with regard to profiles. If this is only a counter trend rally, Larry, price will find resistance at the bottom of that, I'm sorry, at the center of that bullish structured daily profile, 7488. If price can close above 7480, I'm not talking 7489. I don't know what I'm talking about. I Meaning I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just got to be well above that 7488 level. So if price can close above that, then you should at least see a rally up to 7831, not necessarily a change in trend. The weekly chart shows how price pulled back to support and is held so far. So it closed tomorrow above 7416, nothing broken and really just a consolidation here too. You can see the consolidation. It's it's well defined. Let's go ahead and put this in here. And you can see it really goes back uh, quite a, a ways out here. But here's that consolidation pattern right there. And so you've got your battles on a weekly basis at 7834, 8253. That's if price can clear that 74. 88 uh, level. So let's pull over the white background charts and see what signals we have. The question yesterday, that's when the email was sent, was this a buying opportunity? What we would have shared with you is that you do have a valid TD9 count pattern. Even yesterday's close was still above the low of bar number nine, the low of the pattern, which was 71.66. So you've got a valid pattern. You can see there's another level of resistance that this is going to need to close above, uh, Larry, which is going to be 74.35. That's its oscillator and change line. So 74.35 to 74.88 is where a counter trend move would end. End, and that's what you'd really want to be looking for. So it hasn't really, do you have the valid bottom? Absolutely. And typically when you get a valid bottoming signal, price is going to make its way up to that oscillator and change line. The answer to whether it's a real bottom or not is how does price deal with that level? And in this case here, because we also have that bullish structured profile, we have to take that into consideration as well. On the weekly time frame chart, other than holding support, I don't have any kind of a bottom out there. And if price did fail in this area, 66.96 might be the next buying opportunity. On a monthly time frame, I don't have any kind of a bottom signal. So just quickly on the short term, uh, what we have is a TD9 count pattern. This formed here at 12.30. And was that the high? Let me see. 7413 prior bar. 7413. And you're trading at 7414 right now. So a close above 7413. Did it do it on the last bar? Nope, it was right at 7413. So, Larry, a close above 7413 on a 30-minute bar. This next bar does not complete till 2. It's going to suggest a strong upward momentum move up into the 7619 area. Uh, and that is its TD9 breakdown level. So your question was... Is this a buying opportunity? Just depends if we were looking for your intermediate term, long term, short term. If it's short term right now, I'd wait for the daily to prove itself to you. You know, you're talking about the difference between 74.15 and somewhere above 74.88. Uh, it's worth it to have this prove itself. So, Larry, I hope that helps you out with regard to ARKG. Thanks for writing in, and we'll look forward to your next question. This next question coming in from uh, David in Tomball, Texas. And David wants to say, he says, well, I, 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 let me see. See what he wants to look at SCCO. 
So we'll get that populated on the screen out here. Or I believe that's what he wants to look at. And let me read the question. I'd like to ask your help in identifying a buy point for SCCO. Now, that would uh, that's Southern Copper. I like the price action today, but the volume appears to be light. I'm concerned with the gap that was created today being filled before the stock moves higher. How connect? How concerned should you be with today's gap when looking to uh, buy? So I need to get SCCO going on my other charts out here. And uh, here's what we know about SCCO. And you're asking about, oh, today's gap? Would you worry about today's gap? Um, let's see. It's moving into a swing point. That had volume on the trading day of September 27th at 978,000. You're at 650. So you're really moving into that swing point with volume. Would I be concerned the price is going to rotate back uh, to fill that gap right now? No, I wouldn't. You're moving into that swing point. And that really suggests, David, that price should make its way up to resistance, which is the top of that daily profile. And that's at 6030. At 6093, it's the bottom of the weekly profile. So that would be your resistance zone. 6030 to 6093. Whether or not that's worth a trade for you or not, I, I don't know. Um, but let's go see if Southern Copper has any kind of a bottoming signal out here for us. And as we look at it, I would be hard pressed on a daily basis to find a, a bottom signal out here. Doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed. It just means I don't have one of my bottoming patterns. I. Uh, Just trying to see if I can. I suppose there may be an A to B equals CD pattern out here. So it would look like this. It's a junior one, but nonetheless, junior or not. And uh, so that would be the A to B point. I'm just going to take this and move it over here for the C to D point. And so in that instance, we do have. So today's gap, in essence, uh, David, would be another confirmation of a buy the D point. So what that really does suggest to us is that we should see price get up to that resistance zone on the daily time frame. On a weekly basis, do we have any kind of signal out here? We don't. You'll generate bar number eight today, but that's not the uh, not a valid TD9 bottom just yet. You would need to spike below 54.92 in order for that to occur. It doesn't have to happen this week. It could happen next week or the week after out there. On a monthly time frame, um, I don't have anything for you there. Short term on a 30-minute basis, nothing there either. Uh, I mean, a positive thing, which is that price did clear the resistance. It's TD9 breakdown resistance at 57.55. Right now, it's dealing with the next resistance level, and that's at 58.86. So that's the next battleground for you. But if you're asking me, did, in fact, this uh, bottom, the answer is yes. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. I, uh, I I just started something on on my system. Try to pull up some charts, and it's kind of tied up right now with everything that's going on. So I probably shouldn't have done that, but uh, let's uh, try to let's go to a couple questions uh, that are in the uh, Tigers Den, and we've got one more by email that's in out here. And uh, the first question coming in from George in Tampa, and George wants to take a look at uh, DKNG, that is DraftKings out here. So we take a look at the DraftKings, and hopefully my other charts here get uh, updated quickly. Here's what we can see, George. Price right now is trying to regain the bottom of its daily profile. That's at 50.06. So if price can close above that, it suggests a move to 51.33, which is almost where it got up to today. Uh, it got up to a high of 51.07. And then above that, your next resistance level would be 52.59. So regaining the daily profile, and, and I, I could... You know, there is an A to B equals CD pattern out here. So there's a valid bottom. Let's draw that in for you. The A point out here looks like that began on September 8th. The B point was the uh, low on September 15th. And the C point was the high on September 17th. So this makes it one to two, A to B equals CD. The reason why we say that it makes that is, folks, just look at the one to one level. Would you buy that? Of course not. You had a wide ranging bar coming through the one to one area gets to the one to 1.272. How do you know when to buy it? You know, for years, I used to just buy or sell the one to one level. And then when you get, you know, your took is handed to you enough times, you say, okay, I've got to figure something else out. And so the figuring it out was trying to was 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 integrating those patterns with bullish and bearish reversal candles. And I would suggest you do the same with regard to the patterns that you use. I, I think it will improve your trading out here. So you got that bullish reversal signal on the trading day of October the uh, 1st out here. So you've got a valid bottom. Holding the bottom of its weekly uh, support is helpful. Okay, good. Now I can get back to my other charts. So that's good. Uh, so uh, that was that. Uh, did you like that little, um, you know, delay tactic out there? It was the best Stevie could do. So now let's go take a look at DraftKings on the white background chart. See what other signals we might have out here. So with regard to Draft, well, there we go. So I'm glad we opened this up. So, uh, George, if you're asking where resistance is, even though I gave you those profiles, you can see that the oscillator and change line had changed colors. And when that happens, that tells us over the coming seven sessions we don't know how many just over the coming sessions we should see that line and price catch up to each other well that's already taken place today and what you don't want to see is a close below that red line currently printed at about 5102 which uh, i'd put it maybe 5133 if price continues to move up so right now even though you've got a confirmed bottom resistance hasn't failed the first level of resistance that you certainly want to fail is a red oscillator and change line. So would I take the long position now? I, I wouldn't, but it, I mean, if you're a risky uh, trader, then go ahead and step right in based upon that daily pattern. On a weekly basis out here, no pattern to speak of other than holding the bottom of that profile. On a monthly basis, no pattern to really take a look at. Short term wise, let's see what uh, pops up on our screen, if anything. Um, you know, price struggled at the uh, TD9 breakdown level on the 30 minute. So 5076 is another key level. Now on a 30 minute basis, price is pulling back and testing that oscillator and change line. If it tests and rejects this level, you know, that would be a bullish signal, but you'd still want to see a close, two closes above 5076 to suggest that DraftKings wants to try to make a run for the 53 
uh, 25 level. So, George, I hope that helps you out with regard to DraftKings. Thanks so much for the request. The second request came in from Ruby in the Tiger's Den, and Ruby wanted to take a look at the Russell 2000. So let's do this here. Let's uh, go to this set of charts here for the Russell 2000. And, Ruby, just and I don't know what your time frame is that you're looking for, but with regard to daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, this gives us a pretty good feel. So the the Russell 2000 has really been in a sideways consolidation. You can see the trend lines here are also, in essence, showing you that sideways is consolidation, even though that would be more of a rectangle than these lines out here. If you're asking me where is Russell 2000 likely going to find resistance, well, it's either going to be at the top of the daily profile, Ruby. That's at 2266. Or look at all the trend line resistance just above that, the highest level being about 2294. 2317, if, if price can get through that, then it gets up to the next trend line, which is probably in line with the top of the weekly profile at 2317 2357 is the monthly profile so uh really just consolidating and about to take on some resistance zones now what i'll do for you ruby is i'll go switch over and we'll go to my other sets of charts here for the russell 2000 just to take a quick peek and see if there's any other signals that maybe we're overlooking and this is our eight panel chart our multi time frame chart and so as we get this uh populated on your screen the upper left is going to be the monthly time frame which this month is held tested and held this green oscillator and change line it's bullish. We see a TD9 count top. So on a monthly basis, the Russell 2000 is neutral, kind of neutral. Uh, when we take a look at the daily basis because of the consolidation out here. The weekly, you see the sideways consolidation. So that's evident. Uh, the 30 minute chart here, Ruby, is going to or appears that it will form a TD9 count. Now, in order for that to happen during by two o'clock, you need to see price close above. 2258 near 2260 right now. If price closed below 2258, you will not have a TD9 count bottom. That would be the, the, the short term top that would then suggest price might pull back to 2255 or maybe 2249 out there. That is the only, oh, I take it back, the 60 minute chart is in bar number eight. So the Russell 2000 may be getting ready to take a little bit of a breakout here. Uh, Ruby, remember on the TD9 count, the high can take place on bars eight, nine or the bar following nine. So the 30-minute chart could really be lining up with the 60-minute chart out there and suggest that that top might not come in until about uh, 2 o'clock. So maybe between uh, 1, uh, uh, 2 o'clock, I, I take that back, not 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. So I'd be looking between 2.30 and 3 out there and watching those patterns. So I hope that helps you out with regard to the Russell 2000. Good to see you in the Tiger's Den. Thanks for the request. The next request out of the uh, Tiger's Den comes from John. And this is really almost a follow-up to Southern Copper. So this will be good for uh, David, who was taking a look at that Southern Copper position. And we're going to put up our eight panel charts here for Southern Copper. So what do we know? The question was, actually, the question was, what level? This is, well, let me read the question here. And long uh, copper from about October the uh, 6th, what resistance levels do you see that must be exceeded for this bounce to uh, prove itself to you? So great question out there. Let's, um, I wanted to do, I actually, not that this eight panel chart is is not the right thing to look at. We, we will. It's just that, let me see if this is it. Yeah, I want to put up this this chart as well. So I kind of did things in reverse. I don't want to do things in reverse. I want to do things uh, the right way. So, John, here is the daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. And, of course, I'm using my synthetic symbols here, uh, but that provides us with more profile information, which for Stevie, that's really what it's all about. So the next resistance level, John, you'll draw this on your chart. Are those two little touch points, the high of September 27th, or maybe you won't, and the high of October 1st. If price can clear that, that's really the next resistance level. But then you have resistance above that as well. The real battle takes place between 433 and 442. That's because this is a bearish structured profile out there. So uh, that's what I see as the real zones. Now, I'm just looking at my other eight panel charts to see if there's anything additional here to pay attention to. The only thing would be the 60 minute chart. So let's switch over real quickly. Take a look at that before we go to the uh, break. And on the 60 minute chart, now expand this chart out. What you're going to see is a TD9 count that uh, should form on this bar right here. Now, this is the beauty. Price right up at resistance. Whatever the high is on this bar, John, if you see price close above it, and right now that high is 426, that tells us about a strong momentum move to the upside, and that would say price should go ahead and target the 430 level. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We've got a caller on the line. It's Jeff, and we're going to take a look at PayPal.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back. Let's go out to Jeff. Jeff, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Do we have Jeff? Yeah. Hey, Jeff, how are you today? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, hi, Steve. I'm doing well. How are you? Excellent. Thanks for asking. So we just got about uh, a little bit less than two minutes. You want to take a look at PayPal. Uh, let me know what well, you're uh, doing and how I can help you. Right. So I know there's not much time. So, um, I'm looking at PayPal on the daily. I see a yep. beautiful Gartley pattern that's just getting started. I bought options. I already got a 40% gain in the options, but I think it's got a lot further to go. And my question is, like, tomorrow morning uh, is the payroll report, and I'm conflicted between cashing out, taking the 40% gain, or, you know, holding it through the jobs report. Okay. I like taking the 40% gain. But let me tell you and the reason why I answered that. So we take a look at PayPal. It does have an A to B equal CD to the downside. For Stevie, in order for that pattern to complete, it needs a bullish reversal candle. And that's missing from this uh, pattern out here. What we do see is that yesterday, price did close back above the center of its bullish structured profile in a daily chart. And what price has done today, it's got right up to resistance, 268.42. If price were able to close above that on a daily basis, then I would say that your prognosis is correct. It still may be correct, but price hit resistance. And you threw out, hey, the jobs report, maybe the market's going to respond poorly to it. And that's a possibility. And you've got a nice gain knowing that price hit that resistance of 268.42. And that was the reason that I said, hey, 
go ahead and take that uh, 40%. If I look at my other charts out here, just looking for anything that might uh, suggest otherwise, I just don't have a bottoming signal for the weekly, nothing for the monthly, oh, nothing for the uh, monthly uh, chart out here. In fact, the monthly says be cautious. Um, yeah, so so that's what I would do, and that was that's the reason why. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, thank you very much. Hey, you bet. And uh, best of luck to you. Thanks for calling in. Folks, stay tuned. We've got two more great hours lined up for your favorite polar bear, David White, with the Power Trading Hour. He's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take it on home. Please join me tomorrow morning, live between 8 and 9. We'll be recording the Trader's Ed Show. I'll make it as pertinent as I can for the 1 to 2 show. But please join us live. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Have a terrific uh, day, and uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.